police have released security footage of 21-year-old French student Sophie Colombay in the moments leading up to her murder. It's been almost a week since the business student was bashed to death beside the river in South Brisbane. More police will patrol the area overnight as the hunt for her killer intensifies. These grainy images show Sophie Columbay's final moments. She waves goodbye to a friend after a bus trip home from university. Minutes later, she was bashed to death. It was raining heavily during that night. Yes, she in fact uh, was seen walking from the bus with an umbrella, a shoulder bag. After interviewing dozens of people and watching hundreds of CCTV videos, police have pieced together her final steps. They believe she caught a bus from Griffith University to the Cultural Centre busway station at Southbank. At about 9pm she walked past the art galleries towards the go-between bridge en route to her Milton apartment. She never made it home. You would think there were a lot of people around, albeit it was raining heavily. So yeah, no, it is. It's, it's, it's a shocking. Police divers found her umbrella in the Brisbane River. They're still looking for her clothes, boots, handbag and possibly her smartphone and tablet. But what was the motive behind the murder? Police say at this stage there's no evidence to suggest the killer was known to Miss Columbay and are treating this as an opportunistic attack. I don't think there's anything to suggest you could put a tag of a foreign student on. I think she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Foot patrols have been bolstered around the park and officers are interviewing walkers in the hope of finding a new lead. News of the murder has made headlines in Sophie's hometown in northern France. Overseas reports are calling her death mysterious. Back home, uni students from across Brisbane are planning a vigil in the coming days. We're deeply saddened by this and we're having this vigil next Thursday night in memory of her, to honour her. And during a meeting with the French ambassador, the Premier offered his condolences and assistance to the Columbay family. They're now arranging the heartbreaking return home of her body. Josh Bavis, ABC News, Brisbane.